an unknown force is pulling the Milky Way and other galaxies towards it at an astonishing 12 million miles per hour. This is from Ancient Code, and it's a study written on Astrophysical Journal on the Milky Way's motion and CESA survey. Researchers are struggling to understand what is pulling our galaxy, the Milky Way, and other galaxies towards it at an incredible speed of 22 million kilometers per hour, just as the movement of tectonic plate shows the properties of the interior of our Earth, the motions of galaxies providing information about the main constituents of the universe, dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is an invisible material whose presence can be demonstrated only by its action on the movements of galaxies and stars, not emitting or reflecting light. Dark energy is the mystery, mysterious force behind the universe and its acceleration. The energy, the dark energy. Interestingly, there are many researchers that theorize about multiverses, other universes located extremely close to our own, perhaps even only a millimeter away. The extreme proximity existence of other universes have several consequences to our universe, like gravity that is leaking through into our universe, which according to numerous scientists could be responsible for the protection of dark energy, dark matter, which make up, make up about 96% of the known universe. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen videos and images of what has been taken by infrared film, things that we cannot see with our eyes, but th there are things around us that we can see with infrared film. And what is that? Let's just call that a parallel universe or a parallel existence of some kind, something that exists around us that we don't know, we can't see. Now going back to this, this unknown force which has been dubbed as the great attractor, is pulling our galaxy and everything around it towards a specific point in space located approximately 250 million light years away. Basically, the great attractor is considered by researchers as a gravitational anomaly located within the vicinity of the Hydra Centaurus supercluster at the center of the La Niekea supercluster. Adding to the mystery is the fact that the great attractor, quote unquote, happens to lie in a direction in the sky referred to as the zone of avoidance. Towards that direction, there is so much dust and gas that our satellites and telescopes can't see very far in the visible spectrum. The great attractor is certainly there because we see its gravitational influence, but the major portion of the mass that must be there cannot be seen in our telescopes. Researchers discovered indications of the mysterious force back in the 1970s, and as time passed by and our telescopes got bigger and better, we were able to learn more about that specific region and space. In time, astronomers discovered that there is a giant supercluster of galaxies known as the Norma Cluster, which has a mass of about 1,000 trillion suns or thousands of galaxies. The exact position of the mysterious force was pinpointed in 1986. We can only observe that the Milky Way and everything around is being pulled by that something, and that mysterious force must be something massive, strange and fascinating, something that is both extraordinary but also scary. A gigantic concentration behind the great attractor, an even greater attractor, as we mentioned, Efforts to study the great attractor in the past were hampered by its location in the zone of avoidance. But a study called CIZA, C -I -Z -A, was the first to research and investigate the nature of the great attractor a couple of years ago. The mass of the great attractor is not strong enough to pull everything towards it. That is why when we look at an even bigger picture, we find that numerous galaxies, including the great attractor, are in fact moving towards something that is even greater than the great attractor. Quote, X-rays can penetrate even regions that are extremely obscured by gas and dust, and galaxy clusters are sources of X-rays. 
That is what prompted us to attempt to map the distribution of galaxy clusters behind the plane of the Milky Way using X-ray observations, end quote. This is what Ebeling explains. He initiated the survey back in 1998. The CESA project managed to find a significant concentration of galaxies which are located behind the Great Attractor, finding an even greater attractor behind the original one, near the Shapley supercluster located approximately 500 million light years away or four times the distance to the Great Attractor region. Quote, one of our goals was to uncover the true mass of the Great Attractor. What we found is that it is not that great after all, said Kosevsky. The study confirmed that the first time that the presence of structures more distant than the Great Attractor directly influenced the Milky Way and are pulling our galaxy and many other galaxies towards it. While researchers such as Kosevsky believe that mass concentrations such as the Great Attractor were fairly common in the universe, implying that the early universe contained much more mass than previous estimates. Other researchers mainly skeptical about the CESA study and the mysterious force that continued to pull every one of us towards it near the zone of avoidance at the center of the Laniakea supercluster. X-ray observations with the ROSAT satellite then revealed that Abel 3627 is at the center of the Great Attractor. This was submitted at the Astrophysical Journal on the Milky Way's motion and the CESA survey. You can find it, you can find it at the links below at arxiv.org. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.